Hi, Just Click friends. I'm excited to be back with this week's exercise. Thank you for everyone who sent us pictures and feedback. We really love hearing from you all. Let's jump right into today's revision of the, the different computer terms. What is another name for this computer? Yes, a laptop. Who knows what we call this device? Tablet. We usually control the laptop by clicking on the mouse. Now I have something new for you. What do we call this small device that we can plug into the computer? A USB memory stick or a flash drive? Very clever. You are just click star in the making. Friends, before we start, remember to always sit at a table, even, even if you're using the tablet. No feet on the chair and no elbows on the table. In last week's lesson, we practiced our mathematical skills. We had to count objects and put them into a box. Today, we will focus on improving our logical reasoning skills. Boys and girls, that means we must have our thinking caps on because we are going to reason and make smart plans to solve some puzzled problems. Mommy, although visual perception also plays a role in today's lesson, we are mainly going to focus on these logical skills um, that we'll, we will need to follow instructions and to solve the given problems. Association, logical reasoning or thinking, decision-making and problem solving. The action of solving a problem is a three-step process. Understand the question, reason to find a solution and make a decision. Now the computer will give you a shape or tangram puzzle. You have to use these smaller pieces at the bottom to fill the shape puzzle or outline at the top. Sometimes you will have to turn the top puzzle picture so that the smaller shapes can fit. Again, we will start by clicking on the red controller button at the bottom of the screen. Today, we're going to do the third exercise that says geometry and measurement. The first circle that says pattern puzzle is the one that we will do today. Okay, let's click on the play button to start. There we go, have your thinking caps on. Okay, so this is the square that we have to fill with the four little brown pieces. Now you can take one and dr drag it all the way in between the lines and then we drop it. If you by accident take the wrong one and put it in the space it's not going to stick, then you have to try a different one and try and dragging it and dropping it nicely in between the lines. Be careful not to put it next to it, it must be in between the lines. Okay, now we've got a triangle. Remember, always take the biggest shape first. That's a little clue. That's gonna help you. The biggest one, and now we've got one small triangle. There it is. Um, this turning little button, the circle here, it helps you to turn the puzzle. Sometimes that's also going to give you a clue and make it a bit easier for you. Drag it and drop it. There we go. You can use different shapes to fill it up. Let's see. Oh, our time is up. When the time has run out, the computer will show you your score. Click on this yellow replay button for another round. Boys and girls, remember to think first. Make a plan and then take action. Try to solve the problems and don't give up. Mommy and daddy, sometimes they will need help to reason. Try by giving them small tips, but still allow them to think for themselves. You can ask them why they think the shape will fit, or do you think it might be helpful to turn the puzzle? If you have any questions regarding the lessons or its related skills, please don't hesitate to contact us. And remember to like our Just Click Facebook page. We can't wait to see all the new photos. From me, teacher Nadia, I'll see you again next week for our last e-class.